What's up guys, you're watching Blocks of Fury, and today I have a tutorial for you on the mod Applied Energetics. Now this is part of the Big Dig Pack. The Big Dig Pack is what I've been working on for the past couple weeks, and it's very, very interesting. Um, I've already made a couple tutorials on it, and it has the most mods of any pack I've ever seen. Um, I have a little industrial craft station set up over here, but um, the main thing I want to focus on is this. You see this wire running through the roof. This is because it's my storage system. Now it takes its route down here, which is where we're going to start. Originally, this was being fed by a quarry, which I destroyed because I had plenty of resources. But this is going to be your basic setup. You're going to have these four blocks. Now, the first one of these blocks is going to. I'm going to. Normally, I'm in creative, but since I'm not going to be cheating anything in, I am going to switch to. Um, did I say normally I'm going to be in creative? Normally I'm in survival, but um, I'm not going to cheat anything in. I'm going to go to creative for one sec, um, just so I can add these tabs, because it's going to make it a lot easier for me to show you guys everything. This is the Apply Energetics tab. Now, this is an extremely complicated mod, and I'm just going over the basics right now. So, you can do so much more with this mod than I'm saying, but I just want to show you guys the very raw... Um, storage system that I've come up with that is very very effective and just works very very well. The first thing you're going to want is a energy source. Now these things um, especially you'll notice this is huge it's got a wire running through it and this connects to two other um, you'll notice this thing you can hook up multiple um, of these which are just like the interface and you can have your in this inventory everywhere throughout your house so the more ones of these wires that you have I'll, I'll go into more depth but just the more wire and the more boxes you have the more energy it's going to take up and for the system that I've got I need two magmatic generators fully powered now to make this set up with the magmatic engines you're going to need to watch my last video it's pretty it's pretty basic but um, I would highly recommend that again feel free to join the server um, just don't troll and don't steal my items and we'll be cool so yeah get those two generators set up and then you can build this the first block you're gonna wanna build is your display now that I believe that is found right here the axis terminal that's what's called now to build this you're gonna have two iron ingots right there and right there and then you're gonna have an ME cable and a conversion matrix and the glass conversion matrix isn't that hard to make you just need a basic processor um, to do this, you're gonna first need one. Of, this is you're gonna make a lot of these, so you're gonna need this a lot of times. First, you're gonna make your quartz cutting knife. This is pretty simple, and then you're gonna need to um, put these in this um, order: redstone, gold, redstone, silicon. The silicon is simply quartz dust ground up, um, not ground up, but smelted. Um, yeah, as you can see, powered furnace or regular furnace. But then going back to the original thing, the axis terminal, um, the conversion matrix. So that's how you make those. Um, you just smelt the um, thing I just showed you how to make, and it gives you one of these. Then you surround that by two quartz, um, and then iron ingots, and then redstone. So not that hard. And then you, yeah, then you've got your conversion matrix. You just need to build one ME cable, and those are pretty easy. You just need. One second. Oh, there it is. Um, you just need a quartz fiber cable with um, redstone surrounding it. Quartz fiber cable is just made up of quartz dust with glass. Pretty easy to make. Quartz dust, again, is made in a pulverizer or a macerator. You just grind up some um, quartz. Now, now that you know how to make that, you're going to need to move on to your actual... Um, this is the main computer part, I guess you could say of your um, applied energetics system. Um, energetics, energetics, I really don't know. Set time to dawn. Um, yeah, but this is called the ME controller. This is, you have to have a diamond processor, which is made very, very similarly, um, simply as a diamond instead of a block of gold. Um, but again, it's, it's very similar, just quartz, iron, surrounded by an advanced ME processor. Um, that's going to be the guts and that's what you're going to pump your energy into. Then you're going to need your data drives. Your data drives um, are going to be, I'll show you, 
you're going to have a ME drive, which is going to be a chest surrounded by two basic processors that are sure to make those, glass and iron. Then finally, you need your, what is it called? Interface. Now this interface is used, I already showed you make this stuff, pretty simple. The interface is used to import items. You could have um, build craft pipes, you can have um, red power tubes, I believe you could have assembly line, really anything, mine factory. So what I've done here is, this was originally leading to a quarry, if anything was either cobblestone or dirt, it would lead into your incinerator, and then anything else would just go straight into here. Now, what happens is it goes in there, and then it gets pumped into here. This is the best part of the mod. Now, you, you see, you have all of your stuff, and it's all alphabetically sorted. You can do um, number of items, so the biggest stack to the smallest stack. Um, you can do priority. You can do item name. You can sort through all those. You can do descending or ascending, or you could do only um, you could view only craftable items. Um, there's an entire crafting system that's integrated into here, but that's very very complex, and I won't go into it in this tutorial. So it's a pretty simple system, but what really makes this mod stand out is that you can access this inventory anywhere. Again, you can you can search this. You could say I really need some iron. You could say iron, and bam, there you have it. Um, also, let's say I just want to deposit my pickaxe in my system. All I do is just drag it, put it up there, and it's done. As you can see, it'll flash. Um, if you look to the left of the sort order, so like right here, it'll flash when I put something in. That's because it's sending the signal to the other boxes. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to connect up your access terminal with this wire, which I showed you to make earlier. And um, I just fed that wire up through here. And that wire will connect to any other box. Now as you can see this is the exact same inventory. Um, I have three of these inventories, one of which is in my little Thomcraft hut, which is up here. Um, pretty awesome. And again, I have my same inventory. So it's a great way to keep track of all of your items in the same little place. Um, it's very, very simple, but very expensive. So you can start out um, uh, using just chests, but then once you've got more items, you can you can get one of these set up. Um, it's it's quite expensive, so you're gonna wanna start with something cheaper, and then you're gonna wanna build up to this. But once you've got this thing going, wow, is it easy? I mean, all you have to do is just type in what you want. Also, it's got that whole crafting system, uh, which is very helpful. Um, Again, won't go into that right now because it's too complicated. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I have been Michael Dar, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Goodbye.